It's Monday morning, we got two good things going on. We got mulch being put all around the property. So those of you in the comments that were talking about how now that they trimmed all the trees, we needed mulch, they're on the job, they're getting it done. I also have Dave, our paintless dent removal guy here. He's working on that Equinox that was in the last video. The hood is already done. And it looks phenomenal. He's working on the roof now because there are a couple there that he saw. So I'm just gonna take a quick look. You did do a fantastic job. There's nothing on here anymore. Where are you working at the moment? Right here. Yeah. Right there. Just there. It's like impossible to get on film. It's pretty much gone. There's a couple back here too. We found on this panel, there's like two here. Um, however, we were saying to fix those, you gotta remove this whole piece. Other than that, it, it looks real good. So it's gonna be back to uh, back to as good as it can be for a used car. Again, there was, how many did you see on here? I stopped counting at 45. He stopped counting at 45. Which is what I said the other day. I would see like 20 and then he would look at it and see like 150. <laughs> so in any event, he's doing a good job. I'm gonna let him finish his work and get this one squared away so I can call my customer. Had them come back, look at it, and see what they think. I have my two Chevy Traxxas going out, the one black active and the blue LT. They're both cleaned up, they're ready to go. What I forgot to do was gas them. I thought I already fueled up both cars, I didn't. So this one is going at 12.30, I'm gonna fuel this up now, then I'll bring the active, I'll get that one done. He'll be here at 1.30. We just did the paperwork on the inbound tracks. I mentioned that one in my last video that I had a customer coming down to buy one that's actually built. It's in South Korea, just hasn't shipped yet. So maybe it'll be here in about two and a half, two and a half to three months. And then we're gonna call our customer on that Equinox, let him know that the Equinox is done, ready for her to come back and take a look at to see what she thinks, if it's the one she wants to get for her daughter. So we got a little bit of a busy Monday morning going. It feels great, cars are selling. I also, uh, I sold a used Suburban this morning. It was one of those uh, available sales. Please come see John Carlo pages that you hear over the uh, loudspeaker. Usually when I hear that I run, in this case, I was in the right place at the right time. I was only a few steps away. And by the time I got there, the other salespeople that were on their way were too late. So that was super easy. It's a used Suburban. The gentleman saw it online, wants to buy it. He is from about three hours away. He's in Southern Pennsylvania along the border of Maryland. Found a Suburban online. It's a 2018 GM certified. I called them, got everything set up uh, in an email that I'll need as far as like pictures of license, insurance card, I need a credit app, all that good stuff. So he's gonna get all that to me today and he'll be driving up here on Thursday to take physical delivery at 11.30 in the morning. So that will be another unit for the month. We're doing good. I think with that unit, I might actually take the lead for the month of August based on cars that are actually um, delivered, not necessarily pending because I think Dave F has me beat at the moment uh, based on pending units that he has waiting to go out. Not too bad considering I was on vacation for like a week and a half. When I'm delivering a car, a couple things I always do, which I've mentioned in the past, I like to make sure this light is centered. So when you open the door, the lights come on and off. I make sure the owner's manual, the books, everything's in the glove box. And what I always do on these new Trax uh, models, because they have this entire screen here, I pull this one screen protector off, but I leave the one on the radio. The uh, reason I do that, there's like bubbles in them sometimes and stuff like that. This actually doesn't have anything on the radio side, but uh, this screen, you don't need to touch for any reason. It just looks better without the plastic on it. This one I leave on. This way if a customer wants, they can leave it on for a while, or if they want to pull it off, they can pull it off and have that uh, that thrill. You know, it's it's thrilling when you're able to pull those plastics off. This is the LT trim. So the interior is set up with like your uh, white panel on the door here. You have your silver trims and your blue accents. It really looks sharp. This is the blue. They make the red in the RS and the active over there, which we're gonna look at in a second, has the yellow, which I think I like the yellow the best. I also open up the back as well and make sure this cargo area cover is all connected if it comes with the vehicle. And I always open up this just to make sure the spare tire is there and all the jack and all the parts. Uh, you know, I, I've never had where it wasn't in the car, but you never know. The last thing you want is your customer to get a flat tire, go to get the, the spare put on and then that be there. You know, so you just want to make sure it's in the car. 
Okay, so the blue Equinox is now burning gas. This is the active that's going next. And I just wanna, again, highlight the interior. So you have the yellow accents, which to me looks very similar to the edge yellow that you see like on the calipers of the, the C8. This is also the Chevrolet's Evotex seating material, which, you know, I guess you can consider it like a, a it's a synthetic leather or something. I don't know, it kind of feels like leather, you know, whatever it may be, it's called Evotex. This car is going out next. Let's make sure. Owner's manual, double check. Yep, that's there. Light, peel this off. It's also important to note when you're looking at a track, so this is really geared more towards salespeople, when you're putting your mileage on the odometer statements, your mileage is actually on the right, like this has three miles on it. If you look at the left, it shows 36 miles, which is miles till empty. When I got in one of these the other day from the factory, I got in quick, I turned it on, I saw, on that specific model, it said 43 miles, not 36, but I saw 43 and I was like, wow, brand new car, it already has 43 miles on it. Then it clicked in my head, oh no, wait a minute, the mileage is to the right. So you gotta make sure that you're taking your mileage from the odometer on the right-hand side and not the miles till empty on the left. This is Day B over at Schumacher Chevy of Livingston. I just wanna let you know that that Equinox, the dings were taken out of that hood. It looks phenomenal. It's currently Monday afternoon. I'm here today till 7.30 if you wanna give me a call or if you wanna stop in. I'll be out of the office on Tuesday and back on Wednesday. If you get a chance, give me a call when you can, 973-992-9100. Thanks, bye. We just had a truckload drop off some vehicles. We had two bolts come in that are both sold. We had this Colorado here, which is sold. And we got this black LT Crew Cab Colorado, which this one's actually available. It's an LT with a convenience package. It has a 2.7 liter turbo plus, has a safety package, has trailer equipment, no bed liner, nothing like that. So that would be something you'd have to add if you want it. But it's one of the first Colorados we've had in quite some time that's actually available for sale. So it'd be something I could take a little bit of a better look at later on, you know, familiarize myself with it, with the equipment in it, with the uh, price point, all that sort of stuff. And then go through my customer base to see who I had interested in, in the Colorado that I can make a phone call to. MSRP, $40,085. And now for the new portion of the show, we take a comment from the comment section of the previous video and we highlight it in today's video. And today, you know what? I'm not even gonna actually put the comments on the screen. We're gonna leave them out because they were negative comments and it was about six or seven of them left. Not only left as a comment just on the video, but also somebody who's responding to others with negativity, such as if somebody says they just bought a new tracks and they're so excited and they're loving their vehicle, this person would then reply to them saying that it's a piece of junk and yada, yada, yada. Well, I went on that person's channel because in my mind I thought it was a bot. It's not a bot, it's actually a person. And unfortunately, when someone's in a tough time, a lot of times they push that, that negativity out on others. The negativity that they're posting is a representation of what they're going through. And to this person, I just wanna let you know, you can get past that, you know? You can take the little steps and make the little changes in your life to put yourself in a better mood. Because you have to have something going on to take the time in your life to actually put out negativity like that. Or maybe you're just still upset you lost this race in your Camaro. 